Hi, in front of me is Google Pixel 8 Pro and today I would like to show you how you can set up an alarm clock. And by opening clock up and choosing alarm section at the bottom left corner of it. Then click on those three dots at the top right corner. Select settings and adjust all of those under alarms however you want to. When you're done, go back. Now to create new alarm, click on this plus icon at the bottom. Then set up an hour. You can always change it later on. Finally, click on OK in Select Time pop-up and adjust all of those options however you wish to. If you want to edit your hour right away, just click on it and set it up. Now click on Add Label at the top. Label your alarm however you want to, if you want to and hit OK. Then click on days of the week. You can also exclude some dates by clicking on this plus next to pause alarm. Picking a date that you wish to exclude and hitting OK. If you don't want to do it, you can always delete this date by clicking on Remove button right next to it. Now select bell icon and decide if you wish to log in to YouTube Music or Spotify by clicking on it at the top, tapping on Login in at the bottom right corner and this way use music from it. If you don't want to do it, just click on Sounds and tap on record new to record wherever you wish to. Then select save. And as you can see now, my recording was successfully created. You can also choose add new under your sounds and pick any song from your device. If you don't want to do any of that, you can also just pick one of those sounds. Like for example, Loose Change. Just click on it and go back. Now manage vibrations by tapping on this little icon next to it. And even add or remove your alarm from Google Assistant Routine thanks to button next to Google Assistant Routine. Lastly, to hide all of those options, click on the top right corner. As you can see, my alarm was successfully created. If you want to switch it off completely, click on the switcher next to it. You can turn it back on the same way. In order to delete it, you need to click on the top right corner again. And this time select delete at the bottom left one. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye!